tonight, live from the Inspire Theater on the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Fremont Street in the heart of fabulous downtown Las Vegas, we present the Downtown Podcast. Starring your host, Dylan Jorgensen, Jillian Minter, Jason Outlaw, and music by yours truly, DJ Lenny Love Alfonso. Tonight's guest, radio broadcaster Michelle Davis. Public figure, Brandon Jordan. Musical performance by the Union Drifters. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the man who can't stop asking stupid questions, Mr. Jason Allen. <laughs> Good, you're looking good. <laughs> Give it up for DJ Lenny Alfonso. Yeah! AKA V for Vendetta guy. All right. That's right, V for Vendetta, yes, yes. <laughs> I am Jason Outlaw, I am one of your hosts, and I am also the uh, Riddler today. Yeah, and, uh, we got all kinds of people dressed up, right? Everyone's dressed up. We got people dressed up as, uh, what, what, are you guys like the gaming club? You guys are dressed up, is that? Is that <laughs> they're, like, they're, like, they're like, shut up, dude. <laughs> it's like, they're like, get out of here. That's awesome. Actually, we, we've got an awesome uh, group of gamers here with us tonight. Give them a round of applause. They are amazing. <laughs> I just got one question. Do you guys ever get that, that you, like back in the day, you used to call it Nintendo thumb, where you play too much and your thumb gets stuck? Do you guys get that? <laughs> no? It was actually a medical condition. Yeah, I, I also got that. When, never mind. I, never mind. Okay. It's okay. Oh. It's all right. Oh, don't judge me. Are we judging already? Who's judging already? Is this how this is going down? <laughs> all right, guys. Well, this is what's in the news. Company, uh, a, a retail store called REI, has opted out of Black Friday. It's closing all 143 stores, and they're paying their employees to what they call opt outside. That's right. Walmart said they want their customers to opt outside as well. Opt for standing out front to get these deals. <laughs> That's what they want, yes indeed. China is changing, is changing its longtime policy of couples having one child to uh, couples can now have two children. That's right. However, uh, pictures and selfie sticks are still unlimited. <laughs> I take a picture, I take a picture, you take a picture my selfie. This would be the coolest selfie stick yeah, ever. I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> Major League Baseball player Lenny Dykstra. Any, any baseball fans out there? All right. All right. That's cool. Any, any Met fans out there? Lenny Dykstra is actually stepping out and saying that he blackmailed umpires for favorable, favorable calls. He has spent over $500,000 on private investigators to dig up dirt on umpires. In other news, Pete Rose has now hired private investigators. <laughs> yeah, he has. You go way back there with Pete Rose. Yeah, I went way back there with Pete Rose. Poor guy, he's still not in. Who yeah. thinks they should let Pete Rose in the Hall of Fame? Anyone? Yeah. Yes, I think so. All four of us fans. That's all right. It's cool. Whatever. <laughs> um, Buffalo Wild Wings is blaming the NFL for its slumping sales that are about $11 million under their third quarter projections. That's right. And the NFL is in turn blaming the Patriots. <laughs> yes, they said it's most likely because they are cheating. And then the Patriots turned around and blamed Obama. Oh. Yeah, Obama. <laughs> uh, <laughs> everyone blames Obama. I, know, I don't know. Uh, USA Today uh, has reported that police unions in LA and New York have decided to boycott uh, Tarantino films after he rallied against police violence. Do you guys hear about this? Uh, Tarantino against pl police violence is like Jared from Subway against child porn. You know, you're waiting for them to say, just joking. <laughs> uh, what? Boo? Did I get a boo? <laughs> Someone's like, I like Subway. Yeah. Footlongs that are really 11 inches. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you see, that's the thing, because guys, they're like, oh yeah, that's, that's a foot long, because guys always over-exaggerate about the inches, you know what I'm saying? It's true, it's true. <laughs> I mean, look out there, you go, hey guys, how big is an inch? Go. Anyone, put it up, just hold it up. The, exactly. <laughs> Girls, how big's an inch? <laughs> it's, it's, yep, guys just have that perception. It's all right, yep. I've had three inches my whole life. All right. Hi, honey. Um, all right. Um, uh, Arkansas Attorney General uh, replaced, uh, has uh, rejected a ballot proposal to legalize marijuana because of errors and grammar changes. And that's right. 
Grammar and spelling, really, is, is that the way that you really want to, I mean, he's surprised it made it on his desk, you know, it, that it didn't get rolled up and uh, smoked. You know, you'd think, you'd think that would be one of his things, you know, they're like, this would be a cool smoking stick too. No, I don't know, I don't know. An Ethiopian girl was saved by lions who guarded the kidnapped girl from Ethiopian men until police arrived. The, yeah, exactly. The question is, how evil do you have to be for, for someone to go, yeah, I'm good with the lions? <laughs> like, uh, how does that work? <laughs> like, the most vicious predator on earth. <laughs> I'm going to hang out with them. That's good. <laughs> um, a woman has recently been arrested for masturbating with a Jimmy Dean sausage inside a Walmart bathroom. Yes, that's right. And this has prompted Jimmy Dean to change their slogan to, Jimmy Dean, when you need to fill yourself with pork. <laughs> hey, everyone needs loving, guys. Everyone needs loving. It's true. Um, an Oklahoma woman was tasered on Wednesday for playing the tambourine too loud during church. That's what I said. She said she felt the spirit running through her veins. <laughs> it's true. It's, it's just, it's kind of like getting hit by lightning, isn't it? It's, it's, it's you know, it's, it's like Jesus saying, nah, you take care of it. You know, it doesn't have to strike her down. It's good. It's good. Um, there's an article out that says, humming the chorus to the song Tom's Diner. You guys know what the song Tom's Diner is? Okay. So humming the, humming the tune to, song, to Tom's Diner will get any song that is stuck in your head completely removed from your head. But the question is, is what happens, <laughs> what happens when, when, that, when Tom's Diner gets stuck in your head? Baby. Ice Ice Baby comes on. That's what it is. That's what it is. Yes, indeed. Ice, ice, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, get up for DJ Lenny Alfonso! with the brand new invention. Something grabs a hold of me tightly. Flow like a harpoon daily. Wanna do that last one? Will never stop, yo. I don't know. Turn off the lights, huh? Please help me welcome one of the founders of the World Center of Broadcast Media and one of our network partners, Michelle Davis. Michelle! Yeah. Hi! Thank you so much for being with me. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. You look badass. So Thanks for participating in our costume charade. Absolutely. Yes. Lots of fun. So the World Center of Broadcast Media, that's a mouthful by the way. It is. Tell us about the company and what inspired you to start it. Well, what inspired me to start it was that I'm a TV and radio broadcaster, and I wanted to branch out to people with large social media followings so they could have their own TV show and they could make money yeah. at it. Okay. So we basically uh, built it from the walls up, and it's, it's a booth. It's an 8 by 12 booth, and uh, we're all, we are our own content delivery network. So we basically, uh, we're all over the place. We're also in Hollywood. We're going to be in Utah, Hawaii, and we're also oh, cool. in Vegas. All right, awesome. Yeah. So your other location is in Hollywood right now. Yes. Which one was first, Vegas or Hollywood? Vegas. OK, so why did you put Hollywood as the second one? Hollywood and Vine, it, it doesn't get any better than that. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's live. It's got a window front, so people can stop and watch your show live and it's it's on real time so people can also watch on their mobile devices they can have a, a live chat discussion with you so it's been it's been taken off a lot of people are interested and furthermore it's a lot of fun yeah it is and you have a new setup here in vegas right at yes the, at the boulevard mall yes we do yeah tell us about that we have a performance stage and uh, if you drive right past Maryland Parkway, you'll see our big stage, and it's where everyone performs. They can buy airtime, so anyone that's a musician, a performer, um, they come on down and they can rent airtime and perform live. And it's in front of a li live audience, and uh, it doesn't get any better than that. Yeah. So you started on podcasts and yes. radio. And then like all big celebrities who start on podcasts, we get to right. TV. We can't go to the grocery store. People are recognizing us. Like it's. It's just a mess. We're huge in the Philippines. Tell us about that progression. It's, it's interesting. You see it progress, and you see how, how it just accelerates. And before you know it, a lot of people are wanting to jump on the bad bandwagon and see what's going on. And you know, everyone wants to be on the latest cutting technology. They yeah, want to be course. what they want to see what's going on, what's now, what's fresh. And especially with social media, 
how else can you reach a billion people in just one post? There's so many celebrities out there that you never know that they're, they are an instant walk of fame. They're celebrities and you'd never know it just off of Instagram or Twitter or Facebook yeah. or, or YouTube. Absolutely. Yeah. So you broadcast and you have your own show. Out of yep. all the shows you've done, what's the craziest person you've had on your craziest story? Craziest story? Well, um, I had um, a guy who brought a nail and he hammered it in his nose mm. and they wanted me to pull it out. That was interesting. That's, but, um, that's pretty gross. Yeah, that was oh, kind of Oh, you're in the, theme for Halloween. Yes. Good job. Thank you. It was <laughs> freaky. It was freaky. But no, my show's about geeks and I love it. It's called Geeks Are Sexy. So I, I see a lot of geeks in the house. Yes. You know, geeks that end up being yes. the successful ones. So yes. no one likes them in high school and then it all changes after college. And everyone says, why geeks are sexy? And I'm like, well, I used to be bullied when I was little. I was a band geek. And from there, I, I found my passion in broadcasting. And then from social media, I saw how before the show, everyone was on their cell phone posting. And I said, every single one of these people are superheroes. They're, they're renegades in this social media world. Yeah. I mean, how else can someone captivate that, have their own show, live people viewing it on their cell phone? And they can make money off of that at the same time. That's the best part. All right. Exactly. So one of our cast members, John, works with you. And he actually yes. has a show on your show. So yes. we want to bring him out and play a little game. And we're going to play a little game called Heads Up. And okay. see how you do with our Halloween-themed edition. <laughs> I do. Thank you, lady. All right. So does everyone know how Heads Up works? Yeah. You guys know how to play? Yeah. On the same team here, mm -hmm. we're going to see how strong your connection is. We're big on community here at the Downtown Podcast. All right? So let's start with you, John. I feel like I'm on a dating show. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about connection. It, it's fun, right? Connectedness, downtown. Come on, you know. Oh, yeah. All right. So Boom. we're going to have the iPad on your forehead. You're going to face your teammate. <laughs> Halloween edition. Thank you. OK. It's something sweet, and you eat it, and every kid gets it when they go trick-or-treating. Candy corn. It's first, first word is ripe, but it's chocolate. Uh, it comes in like arr. Chocolate candy. Chocolate sure. bar. There you go. Yes, Wait. correct. No, say, say the two. OK. Forward? Oh, yeah. OK. <laughs> um, pass. OK, um, you go to carnival, and someone's going to for the kids. Face painting. There you go. Correct. Oh. oh. <laughs> Arr, I'm going to suck your blood. Give it to me, your blood. Oh. Kids show, John. Oh, sorry. I'm Deadpool. So. Come on. What am I? <laughs> oh, uh, cat. Oh. Black cat. No. Uh, <laughs> midnight. <laughs> midnight. Uh, mi coffin. Midnight. What? Midnight coffin. Midnight black. coffin. Oh, vampire. There you go. Oh. Correct. Go. Yeah. All right. Down. Down. <laughs> um, blank and uh, pass, Trick or treat? pass, pass, pass. Oh. Uh, all right. Oh. Oh. All right, let's see yeah. how many you guys did, and we're going to switch it up. Good job. Good Got job. It. Two. <laughs> the iPad gives them two. Yeah. He did Technology. one wrong. He did one All right. Yep. No, I didn't. <laughs> you didn't pay attention. I saw it. Stop doing it and pay attention. Did. All right, so, Michelle, okay. you're up. Make sure you hold the iPad towards that way. Um, what we're at right now, um... Downtown podcast, no, inspired uh, theater. Everybody dresses up in Halloween. Italian, um... Costume party. Yes! Yeah! Down, down. Down, yeah. <laughs> uh, she's the one girl from, uh, Charlie Brown. Oh, I messed that one up. I wasn't supposed to say you that You can one. say that. Oh, okay, um... Yeah, yeah, keep going. She's the girl. Pass, you got this. pass. Oh, you do... Oh. <laughs> oh, um, I'm sorry. One of the seasons. Fall, uh, summer, spring, winter. Uh, say, what's the other one for fall? Spring. No, no, the other Wait. word for fall. Another uh, way to say autumn. it. Autumn. Uh, there you go. All right. Yeah. Uh, um, Did I get it? Oh, Egyptian I keep doing descent. It uh, I keep doing it. Brendan right. Fraser, he was in that movie. <laughs> Back in the day. Yeah, guy. Um, How come that guy? Uh, wrapped in toilet paper. Uh, the mummy. Yeah. yeah. All right. Down. Yes. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, Oh, You're just giving um, yourself pass, points. Pass that yourself? one too. Pass that one too. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> so I think that's it for heads that up. Awesome. I think you gave oh, yourself several right. points. Right. 
to make up for the last one. So you're at four, you had, you had two. So we're at I six. I think you're really at like four-ish, but great job, guys. We're so happy to have you. Thank you, Michelle, Brad. please tell people where they can find you, follow you, social media, oh, all that yeah. jazz. WCOBM.com, the World Center of Broadcast Media. Check it out. Check all right, it out, guys. thank you, guys. Thank you. So after that fun game, we have an amazing next guest. He is an incredibly famous YouTube star after he started tweeting with Lady Gaga. And he's used that fame to push one of his passions, which is all about self-expression. And I want to make sure that we all welcome Brendan Jordan out to the stage. Come on out. Oh. What up, man? Hi. Yeah, it's a pleasure to have you back. Hey. Nice to be back. It's been a whole year yeah. since I've been on this it show. It has been. And we can, you know, first off, thank you for all the YouTube viewers. I mean, oh, your, vi your you. videos, they went nuts. So what do you think? Why, why so famous so fast? What were you doing that caught on? I don't know. I can't answer that. Like, <laughs> why it just so happened famous to you. so fast? I don't know. I mean, I think it's just something that just happens. I mean, I learned a lot through this past year, and I'm excited to see what happens in the future. Okay. So I've already had the privilege of interviewing you, so I thought it might be fun this time to take one of your fans and actually bring them out here. And this oh. is somebody This is somebody who has been a part of downtown Las Vegas, the story that's unfolding down here. And it's somebody who also has a passion for some of the same creative talents you do. So are you okay uh, to meet a fan? Of course I okay. am. <laughs> All right, it's just a little one. Get ready for it. <laughs> I'm short too. So please put your hands together for <gasps> Julian <Yeah>. Martinez. <laughs> You have so much Halloween <laughs> spirit. I like dressed up in polka dots. You look amazing. All right, Julian, I'm gonna I'm gonna give up my chair. I'm gonna let you take this big seat. Now he he's oh. in first he's in first grade. Six no, years I old. Was like six in years first old, grade, right? Like nine years ago. Okay, so know, you take I'm it away. Math, so everybody, this is Julian's first interview. So let's give him a round of applause. All right. Thank you. Um, I'm here to. Um, interview Brendan and um, I really like it and I've been waiting every day for it. <laughs> oh, I am so excited. You know what? I am excited to be here in front of you. Mm -hmm. um, and Brendan, I'm your biggest fan. I've been watching all your shows on YouTube. Oh my God. Thank you so much. You are so cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brendan, um, someday would you like to come with me and my mom for a tour oh. around downtown? Of course, of course. I want to get to know downtown more. I feel like because I live like about 20 minutes from here, so I would love for your mom to, your mom and you to show me around. I yeah. love the art district. And um, we'll give you a little Samples of the food and drinks they have there. Yes, oh, especially foods involved. <laughs> you know, the food is where I always am. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, um, I heard you like fashion a lot. No, 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 no I don't like fashion. I'm just kidding. Yes, do you? No, not that much. <laughs> yeah, I'll dress up. Well, I like having fun at Circus Circus, and I like going. Me too. <laughs> have you gone? Have you gone to Fright Dome? Oh wait, no, no, no. You're probably you're you're probably too young for that. No, I know. <laughs> um, and I went to um the Life Is Beautiful Fest, and it. Um, oh, you did! Oh my God! Go. Was it fun? They had food trucks and. Oh, see, that's what I was. I'm excited for. <laughs> and in our museum, would, and it had a a jester in it. Oh wow, that sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. Did you have like a lot of fun? Did you take a lot of pictures? Yeah, and they had this cool little like 
No, no. Like sing. Yeah. Shape. Yeah. Shape I love that. cool things. Shape that makes music. Yeah. Yeah. So music, music. You like the music? Was it fun? Did you, did you and your mom go? Yeah. Oh, Even wow. Even my auntie and um. Oh, so the, whole family. Family gathering at Life is Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, why don't, so why don't you tell me a little bit about the music you like? Because we all know that Julian's a big musician. Me? Yeah. You, why don't you tell no. them about your favorite? Music? Currently, well, I'm just waiting for Lady Gaga to release her new album. Like I'm waiting. Up, I'm like at the edge of my seat for that. Oh my God! Right now, my music taste is a little um, stale. I'm just not really like that interested in these right now, but then once she released her new album, oh no, 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 Adele's new song, oh, that's been on repeat, like when I do my homework, I'm like, hello, friendly, I'm a song. Um, it's called The River Song, and it goes like this, if I die on, bury me in satin, lay me down on a head of roses, take me in the river, act on, Send me with the waves at the word of the love song. Yeah. You have an amazing voice. Are you going to continue singing? Do you want to do musical theater? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> no, no. It's like, yeah. <laughs> well, um, Brennan, I heard you like um, a lot of things about Lady Gaga and um, you like all of her music and um, sometimes me and my mom listen to them, those songs in her car. I would love to be in your mother's car then, listening to the album with you. Do you like her music? Yeah. I, I do like it and you, you, you really miss the Life is Beautiful Fest because... I know, I did apparently. <laughs> Art and cool things. I know they have this little talking cat car that will give you riddles and stuff and Ooh. it was a Toyota car that talks and if you A lot of talking cars. Yeah, if you if you talk if you won the riddle then you got to get a little phone case that you can put your phone in and you can take your phone underwater. Brendan <laughs> Brendan, do you really, really like shoes, fashions and stuff? <laughs> I, I do like shoes, fashion, and stuff. I uh, collect heels now. I have about like four pairs, small but growing. Small but growing. Yeah. <laughs> you got one in the back, girl. Me too. Do you like Do you like shoes and stuff? I am. Um, sometimes me and mom go to like J C Penney's and mm. Kohl's. And Hit up the J C Penney's. <laughs> and she buys me shoes and pants <laughs> and stuff. Designer. Here, get it. Very good, brother. Yes. That was good. Yeah. You did a good job, Julian. You were a very good interviewer. You should have your own talk show. Wanna take a bow? Do a car wheel? Our next performer you can find performing all over Las Vegas. Tomorrow night you can catch them at the trot from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. Ladies and gentlemen, the Union Drifters.
say you better girl I know She kicked the bucket about an hour ago We dropped the body on an old dead road And when that full moon rises The soul of the soul And with the eyes of red And a spirit so black She gave a full blown man A lot of sack And who wants to see her You can't turn back As the fire rises I'd like to thank all of our guests this evening. Thank you to our cast and crew and all of you podcasts at home. Remember, you're all welcome to be a part of our live studio audience every Thursday night at 9 p.m. here at the Inspire Theater. Party with us at the rooftop for the after party. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube for online only content. Like us on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, Instagram, at Downtown Podcast.